Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. We are a couple weeks or so into ownership of the new Toyota Tundra. And when I say new, I mean new to the channel. It is a 2024, so it's the most recent model year you can get. And new as far as the redesign that happened, what, a couple of years ago, something like that. I have to say, I love it. It is awesome. Love having a big truck again, love having the power, and it does have power, even though I know it's a V6 twin turbo. You'd probably never know it, particularly if you're comparing it to the smaller V8 that Toyota had available not too long ago. I'd say it's a little bit more powerful than that, and probably a hair less powerful than the big V8 that they had just before switching over to this new setup. Now, there's a couple of uh, mods I'm thinking about doing to this truck, but I can't decide if I want to do them right away or if I want to wait until after my trip or trips that are coming up in this truck. And I know that's a little ways off. It's going to be like next summer. But nonetheless, I think I might like to experience the truck stock for the most part as far as suspension and wheels and tires and all that stuff go but nonetheless I don't know if I can stand it there's three things that I'm looking at doing I'm gonna run through those but real quick I want to give you an update on the home link system I put in my homemade home link system it's really no more than a couple of momentary switches hooked to garage door openers it's working fine no issues I've used it several times back and forth trips to, to Lowe's of course for mods that I'm working on on the other two vehicles. Hybrid driven, that's all about the Toyota Prius. And of course, Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma. Check those channels out, subscribe to those, and don't forget, click the subscribe button here too. So, first off, wheel spacers. I mentioned this in another video. I am heavily leaning towards that, at least in the short run. I might go with a different wheel setup, although I actually like the wheels that came on this truck. They're a painted black TRD, at least they say TRD in the center cap wheel, and I'm kind of digging them. I really don't have any desire to go to a different wheel other than to get that offset that I want, you know, the negative 10 or so offset to pop the tires out a little bit. It's a look that I really love on trucks and I think it would look awesome on this one as well. But there's an alternative, wheel spacers, you know, they get a lot of negative press, a lot of negative pub. People talk about them putting wear on the hubs and all kinds of problems. Frankly, I've had wheel spacers before. I had them on a Tundra a few years ago and I never had any issue, but I didn't put tons and tons of miles on them either. So I don't know if that's really a, a good test. So I don't know. I'm not afraid of them though. <sighs> Lifting the truck. Man, this new t Tundra looks awesome. Lifted. Awesome lifted with bigger tires, something that pokes out. I think about a three inch lift or so would be really cool on this truck. I think it would make it high enough that obviously you'd be able to tell, but not so high that it's like a monster truck. And honestly, we're going over a really bumpy road right now, so my voice is bouncing around, that's why. But honestly, there is a, a person who lives near where I live and they've got a lifted Tundra. It's a new Tundra. And I have to say, every time I see it, I'm envious. I love it. Now that I have the Tundra, it's like, well, you know, you've got the truck, so all you have to do is pony up the cash and find a shop to go ahead and put the new lift on. So that's probably coming for this truck. I don't think I'm going to be able to stand it, and I think it would look awesome. As far as the type of lift, you know, I, I had a block and spacer lift on another Tundra, and I never had any issues with it. The Tundra is so heavy that I don't think it would really be a problem. You know, when you go with a lighter truck and you put in a, a different, firmer suspension, I think you feel it a lot more in the truck than you do with something that's heavier like this truck. So I might cheap out, let's be honest, and go with some sort of a block and spacer just to get it up in the air. 
oh, I don't know, like I said, probably about three inches, somewhere between two and three inches, let's say. And then tires-wise, I think I would go with a Falcon Wild Peak, my favorites, and maybe go a little bit bigger. So I'd get a little bit of lift from the taller tires, if you will, and a little bit of lift from the lift as well. So I'd probably end up somewhere between yeah, three to three and a half inches, something like that, lift on the truck. Again, I'm still leery. You know, I think going with shocks, the Bilstein adjustables is probably the best way to go because you can actually lift the truck up a little bit with the different settings on those. I think there's, if I remember, three different settings or something you can go with. And I think you can get a pretty good setup with those. So I may go that way as well. Of course, there's a myriad of other suspension things you can do if you want to pony up the cash to do it. I don't know. We shall see. One other thing I wanted to mention is the grill. I saw a video, it popped up on my feed the other day, of somebody changing out the front grill on the Tacoma, or Tundra, I should say, to the TRD Pro style, or the grill that says Toyota across the front, the Heritage Grill. I really like that on this truck. I think that would look really sharp. But man, in looking at what you have to do to change the grill now, oh my God, Toyota has made it so much more complicated. You've got some louvers in the front that you have to screw with. You've got the whole front end that you have to take off. No more can you just take four screws off or two screws and a couple of pop push pins, whatever it is, and just pull the grill part off. Oh no, you can't do that anymore. You're basically removing the whole front end of the truck. I've done that once before, not on a truck though, and not on a Toyota. I did it on a Mercedes. And I have to say that was uh, a bit of a scary proposition, you know? You start pulling the front end of a vehicle off and man, you can break clips and pins and all kinds of things. And that's if you don't have any problems with sensors or any of that kind of stuff that you have to mess with too. And as I mentioned, we've got this louver system in the front now as well. So that's gonna come off the truck. You've got all kinds of things you have to go ahead and unplug and I tell you it was such a look like such a tedious job to me that I didn't even finish watching the video that popped up the guy showing how to do it it looked good when he was done it looked great and of course he didn't say that he had any problems with anything but you never know I find that a lot of youtubers and I'm not saying he did this but a lot of a lot of youtubers will kind of gloss over when there's an issue or something so you have to kind of take some of those videos with a grain of salt. I try to never do that myself. You know, if there's something that goes wrong during a mod, I like to point it out. I think it's good content anyway. It's good bad content. Um, so I always try to show that kind of stuff because after all, it's when a mod doesn't go right that you really want to see, right? What did the, the creator do to fix the problem? I mean the creator of the video, not the creator of, you know, everything. Anyway, those are just a few things that I've got uh, kind of in the back of my mind coming up. Things that I, th I think I'm probably going to end up doing with this truck. This truck is just awesome. I think Toyota did a great job. And I was not uh, a real fan of the redesigned Tundra when it first came out either. So they've won me over. I love it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What you think of the things I'm looking to do. And what do you think of the new Tundra? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.